You may well have heard of operation support systems and business support systems, commonly known as OSS and VSS in mobile networks, and probably thought they're not directly related to standards, so maybe not that important. If you really thought this, then you couldn't have been more wrong. In this introductory video, we'll try our best to explain what OSS VSS is and why it matters. Let's say a new mobile network operator has deployed their network. Everything is working fine and they've started selling SIMs. Many users have bought the SIMs and are now using the network. There are two main ongoing tasks the operator needs to focus on from this point onwards. The first task is to make sure the network is running smoothly. If there are any failures, the operator should be able to detect them immediately so they can fix the problems. This is the job of the Operation Support Systems, or OSS. The second task is customer focused and includes order capture when a customer requests a service, billing and customer relationship management, or CRM. This is the job of Business Support Systems, or BSS. BSS is generally considered to be part of OSS, but we usually refer to them together as OSS VSS. Let's dive deeper into this topic and start with the basics. Let's take a basic multi-vendor network. Please note that I'm oversimplifying things here. In reality, it's far more complex. In this example, we've used three different vendors for the base stations. At a high level, you can think of each base station as a network element, or NE. In an ideal world, one would have one element manager, or EM, that collects all the data, logs alarms, and so on from all these elements. However, because these base stations come from different vendors, each vendor will have their own element manager, as you can see here. Finally, there would be a network management system, or NMS, which collects information from all three different element managers and presents a vendor independent system level view. The interfaces between each element manager and its network elements may be vendor specific, while the interface between the EM and NMS usually follows some kind of standard. This could be defined by a standards organization or by an operator. The most popular interface is called TMN, which stands for Telecommunications Management Network and is defined by the ITUT. If we look at the mobile network from a high level, the main job of the mobile network operator or MNO is to deliver services to their customers. To achieve this, they have to carry out a variety of tasks as shown at the bottom. These include network planning and development, network provisioning, service planning and development, service provisioning, sales management, order handling, and most importantly, inventory management. Bringing OSS BSS into the equation again, at a very high level, the job of the OSS is to manage the infrastructure and to manage the service and business. On the other hand, the job of the BSS is simply to manage the customer. In summary, OSS is essential for communication service providers or CSPs to enable digital transformation. As shown, there are two ways to look at OSS, from a network perspective and a business perspective. From a network perspective, OSS is responsible for F, C, A, P, S. F is fault management, which includes detecting, correcting, isolating, and recovering from faults. C is configuration management, which includes defining network component characteristics and managing their life cycle. A is accounting, which involves managing the network including system usage, quotas, audits, costing, and fraud management. P is performance management, which involves understanding the network performance and capacity planning. Finally, S stands for security, which includes managing access, audits, incident reporting, and compliance. From a business perspective, OSS is responsible for service fulfillment, which involves planning, building, provisioning, and activating services. Service Assurance, which is responsible for optimizing the quality of service for networks and services. 
and finally, Operation Support and Readiness, or OSR, which involves providing the chosen environment for efficient fulfillment and assurance processes. On the other hand, BSS is crucial for CSPs as it handles customer facing activities, which include Customer Relationship Management, CRM, which involves managing cost customer interactions and data. Order Management, which means handling customer orders from initiation to fulfillment. Billing, which I'm sure we all know refers to generating invoices and managing payments. And finally, Revenue Management, which involves ensuring accurate revenue collection and preventing revenue leakage. Here is a simple and helpful diagram that shows how OSS and BSS have traditionally fit within a telecom network. It provides a high level view of how these systems interact with both the underlying network infrastructure and the customer facing side of operations. While the actual architecture may be more complex in real deployments, this visual gives a good starting point to understand the typical positioning and roles of OSS and BSS in a traditional setup. One final question you might be asking is, why do OSS and BSS really matter? The simple answer is that OSS and BSS enable communication service providers to deliver reliable services and maintain strong lasting relationships with their customers. OSS supports network efficiency by making sure everything runs smoothly and reliably. It ensures high quality service delivery, allows for quick fault detection or resolution, and automates many operational tasks to reduce manual effort and minimize errors. BSS, as I've mentioned before, takes care of all customer facing activities, from managing customer data and interactions to handling orders and billing. It ensures accurate revenue collection, prevents revenue leakage, and plays a key role in delivering better customer experience, which is vital for customer retention and satisfaction. There are some references and links for those who'd like to explore this topic in more detail. The slides will be made available on the 3G4G website, so feel free to check them out and continue your learning from there. We hope this simple explainer on OSS and BSS has helped you understand the topic a little better. Thank you for watching. As this isn't a core area of our expertise, we'd really appreciate hearing your thoughts. Please do share them in the comments below. Stay tuned for more insightful content and we'll see you again soon. Goodbye.